And then, what was I going to say? Uh, God. <laughs> God, what was in my brain? Yeah, just the reaction. The reaction mm-hmm. I heard in the theater to that, yeah. that little YouTube clip I saw. Right. I was like, you're adults. <laughs> this is, I'm just saying, I feel like there's some issues you need to unpack when you get outside well, out of this comic <clears throat> book movie. Well, look, I mean, you know. Granted, y- there are some that are well made, but still. You have to, you have to put yourselves into their perspective. Because, I mean, like, you know, obviously Marvel is not my life. Star Wars is not my life. But I'm a big fan. That's like my hobby is watching Star Says Wars. the guy wearing the Spider-Man hat. I'm wearing a spider because it's a part of my hobby. I'm wearing a, and I'm wearing a, a a Star Spock, Trek shirt. A Spock t-shirt. But the Spock t-shirt's funny. It's him. Track yourself before you wreck track yourself. Track yourself before you wreck yourself. It's a great shirt. Um, but anyway, no, it's, yeah, I'm wearing a Spider-Man hat. But I, because I'm, I'm a big fan of those universes, but it's not my entire life. But because I'm a big fan, you see someone that you've known and loved for over a decade die. You know, it's a little, it's yeah. a little heart-wrenching. Yeah. You just don't care. You have no joy in your life. We've we've made that abundantly clear. I just I don't know. I'm not. They're fine movies. I'm not just as emotionally attached to them. You're as not a in, lo- as a lot of people are. You're not as invested in them as others no. are. And you know, I don't care about fat Thanos or fat Thor. I mean, <laughs> Thanos Th- was already purple, fat. Purple Thanos. Yeah. I don't know. He looked like he worked out. Well, he's a very masculine. He's just a big dude all around. But you like you know, like I have a job. And I enjoy. I have fans. Uh, you know, I like do. I love doing this show. I put a lot of work into this show and and the Sunday show on Star and and the Smoking Hot Toddcast. But yes, I do have all twenty two movies uh, that Marvel Cinematic Universe there's has put 22? out. Twenty two. Well, there's actually actually I, I guess I have like twenty right now because uh, the, I haven't I haven't seen the twenty first anywhere and, near all of them. The twenty first is Captain Marvel and the twenty second is Endgame. So I have like twenty of them. So they, and the other two haven't come out yet. But I collect them. I do. I get them all. I have them all. I have all the cinematic universe films and I have all the Star Wars films too. Even Solo. <laughs> <laughs> That's the natural reaction that most people have to Solo. Give me a Harambe Solo <laughs> film. That's what I want. Harambe should have been one of the Avengers. Yeah, he should have. Yeah. He could have just. His superpower is dragging a child into his Oh, enclosure. no. He could have just dragged Thanos around. That yeah, would have taken care of it right there. No, he could have, dr- he could have uh, drug a uh, rocket raccoon oh. <laughs> around. That would have been great. So, and some sad news today. The, the raccoon that they used to create the, the CGI died. character died. The raccoon that they, they used for Rocket Raccoon's dead in real life here. Not, not the CGI character. Bradley Cooper's still around, too. Did My name's not over? Otto. Did he get run over or something? No, well, <laughs> I didn't hear how. I don't think that's what happened. It's just it's weird to think of a raccoon dying of old age, but I guess it happens. I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of animals that die of old age out in the wild. I'm sure that's a thing. I don't know. It's a, it's a dog-eat-dog world out there. It is, and survival of the fittest, We obviously, but I mean, I'm sure there are animals that have stood the test of time and died appropriately. This is a weird conversation. This is a very weird conversation. I was just trying to share some info to Guardians of the Galaxy fans everywhere. Because I, I, even though I love Spider-Man, Guardians are actually my favorite cinematic universe heroes. So I was sorry. I, that was your foot I hit. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry. Big toe, too. It was. <laughs> Struck a nerve, really. Sorry. I, I, uh, I didn't realize. I thought that was your chair that I hit. And I was like, oh, damn. That's nope, your whole that foot. The, that was the toe. Oh, dang. Sorry about that. That's okay. I didn't really feel. So the raccoon, the raccoon's dead. Is all I'm trying to say. Is the point I'm trying to get across. He's dead. It's sad, but we move on. I'd like to see hear an audience reaction to that when they (laughs) when they bury the when they bury the raccoon (laughs) at Marvel Studios or whatever. (laughs) This is terrible. But they should have a lake scene for them and all the cast members from all the Marvel movies are standing there. They just push out a pile of trash right in the middle of the lake. Oh damn. And, uh, Brad, and Bradley Cooper's the one that sets the trash yeah. out. Yeah, I think and that's they appropriate. set it on fire or something. Oh, Jesus. Know. That's appropriate. No, that's fine. Well, they're sending them off to Valhalla or whatever. Val- Valhalla? Valhalla? I think that's like, a t- the, that's like the traditional ceremony that the Vikings did when they were sending somebody to, the, to Valhalla, to their heaven or whatever. They, send, they put their body on a raft and set it out in the middle of the lake and set it on fire. I think that's how it works. Okay. All right. So a traditional Viking funeral is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. It, well, I'm down with that. But, but we're going to give it to a raccoon. We're go- that's fine. It's and I don't work. think, listen, I don't think anybody would have any qualms with that whatsoever. I think everybody would be fine with that. I'm just saying that it's. Uh, Tony Stark's dead. Oh, stop it. 
Spoilers! Spoiler, Spoiler alert! You don't, get, you don't get to see Robert Downey Jr.'s pretty face anymore. Spoiler in alert! In the Iron Man costume, at least. Yeah. You can see him in other films. I'm sure yeah. I'm sure Robert Downey... He's going to be Dr. Doolittle next year. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> we were, you were like, oh, you'll see him in other films. Oh, he's going to be Dr. Doolittle. Oh, God. It's over. It's all over. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap on RDJ's career. Yep, he had a good comeback as Iron Man, and then he just he just screwed it up by just demo getting demoted to Doctor. You think this will depress him to the point he goes back to drugs? I hope not. Man, I I, don't, I wouldn't want to drive anybody to drug abuse. I no. Yeah, yeah. If you're listening, Robert Downey Jr. I well, don't he never to, misses an episode. I, yeah, I don't want to I don't want to drive you to drug abuse, <laughs> but from Tony Stark to Doctor Doolittle. Well, it's like I'm just I feel I feel that's a demotion. Well, from what I understand, it's not like the wacky Eddie Murphy type Dr. Doolittle. It's like based on what Dr. Doolittle was originally based on, which is apparently like some sort of like steampunk type story that of a guy that tends to talk to animals. It's it's kind of weird. Let's go to the music. <laughs> just, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't even know how to reply to that. That's a perfect response. My and Dr. Doolittle was originally a steampunk. What? I, well, that's kind of what it's coming off as. Like, man, go to hell. Ah!